with the effort of government recently trying to pull the country out of recession, at least we are progressing. We only try to survive, however you can do to survive, as far as you are able to stay. Nigerian government is not relenting in its efforts at bringing the economy back on the path of growth and ensuring that the effect of economic recession and its economic impact have minimal effect on Nigerians. One of such moves is the recent reduction of five naira from the pump price of petrol. There are also various social safety network provisions for individuals and small medium scale businesses to tap from in order to cushion the effect of high prices of goods and services. There are specific interventions that are helpful. For example, you saw about the youth uh, investment scheme that is putting 75 billion naira out there for use of different kinds of talents. So they are investing on the talents of the young people. And there are other variations that are in agriculture, like Anko Borowa's program that are focusing on 10 presidential agricultural value chains. And even more uh, accelerated agriculture development schemes with the states, also focusing on young people as well. Economic watchers say with the current situation occasioned by the economic downturn, individuals, households and businesses can re-strategize and adjust to manage the situation. The most important component to surviving is moderation. Two is careful planning and then stop wasteful spending. And it is in wasteful spending that you probably now have cost of transportation. Okay, sometime if you remember, uh, there's one time they said, oh, make that call, don't make that trip. Okay? Uh, everybody, they're setting conventions that we must also begin to rethink twice. Nigerians and economics alike are positive that in no distant time, the economy will stabilize as the federal government has taken drastic measures to restore the economic value of the country. Wafa Ibo, NTA News.